Yo, what's happening guys and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you guys can change your key bindings in Call of Duty Mobile. Now, in the last video, I talked to you guys about how to get this game on PC. If you guys don't have this yet, this application that I'm using right now, GameLoop, basically matches you against PC players using the same application. Now, currently in Battle Royale, I've leveled up really, really far and I'm only finding bots and solos. Now, I've heard that you will start finding players once you play duos and squads. If you guys have any friends playing this, squad up with them and you're more likely to find players. Also, in multiplayer, there's a lot of bots, as you guys have noticed too. Going into ranked play will basically give you less bots. That is definitely a good little way to get around it. Now, just to make this easier, guys, you want to minimize the application. So press escape and to obviously go to the screen. You'll be able to go into the application and it'll show your default controls and everything like that. Obviously, we're going to have to hop out. Um, this is honestly the easiest way to do this, so it might seem a little bit awkward, you know, for a YouTube video, but this is genuinely the easiest way to do it, and this is what you guys will have to do if you guys want to have a look to basically see what you're doing. We're just going to go on ahead and spawn in at this little house, and hopefully nobody's here with us. Okay, so now that we're spawned in, we're in the bathroom, we're in the bathtub, which is, you know, just obviously just the best place to be, folks. We're in the bathtub. Let's start running through these settings here. So once again, press escape, and maybe just stretch this out a little bit so you can see all of the key bindings here on the right-hand side. Now make sure you have this clicked and this will bring up a little menu on the right hand side. Click on the key mapping icon. Now as you guys will see, all of the key bindings have popped up. We're going to start this from scratch. So I've hit reset and we'll be doing this together. If any of you guys are having any issues with not being able to shoot and stuff like that, this is basically what you'll have to do. Now as you guys can see, we've got multiplayer and battle royale. And in today's video, I'm going to go for the battle royale version. If you guys want to, you know, change your multiplayer key bindings, you'll have to do this twice basically. But you're just going to make sure that all of these icons are sitting directly in the center of the boxes and stuff like that. You can also set it up with a gamepad. I think Xbox controllers and Scuf gaming controllers will be able to work with this. But in any case, guys, let's go ahead and do the Battle Royale mode and we'll set this up with keyboard. Now, just a little note, a lot of people have been saying keyboard versus mobile is cheating. This application is specifically designed to match PC versus PC. So if you guys are worried about that, do not worry. And also, if you're playing Battle Royale, it's 100% bots at the moment, so don't even worry about it. This is the fairest way to possibly play this on mouse and keyboard. If you're using blue stacks and different applications, yes, you're playing against mobile players. And yes, it's probably cheating. But definitely check out the video on how to get game loop. And that is the fairest way that you guys can play it on mouse and keyboard. Right, so there's a couple of key bindings that I really did not like. Most of them are fine here. I left all of these alone. It's especially 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that I had a bit of a problem with. F is absolutely fine for me as well. So as you can see, 9, 8, 7. Now these pertain to your healing items. I'm going to go on ahead and delete all of these. 6. Now for 3, 4, 5 and 6, we're going to delete these as well because these pertain to stun grenades, grenades, nova gas and all that kind of stuff. Now we're also going to delete some of these key bindings up at the top. As you guys can see, this is for your audio, for muting audio. If you're on PC, you do not need that key binding, so go ahead and delete that. Now for these, now this is for muting your microphone. You guys can set that up if you want to, but personally, I just use Discord. So I've really no need for that, but I, I'm not going to use the Y key anyway. Now we're definitely going to use this Q key. We're going to take this Q key and we're going to go ahead and bring it down here. Now this is going to use the medical item that, I've, that I'm using in this hotbar. So we're going to go ahead and put that in first. Now 789 is hemostatic, first aid, adrenaline. So the next one we're going to use is number three. We're going to go ahead and move it in there. And then the next one we're going to use is number four. So we'll go ahead and put that in as well. So what this seems to do is basically Q will allow you to use the item that's equipped in here. Three and four will basically use the other two items that you don't have in your hotbar. That's basically how this works. They don't have to be directly in the center, but you might as well put them directly in there. Now, next up, this is our grenade slot. Now, personally, one for weapon one and two for weapon two is perfectly fine, in my opinion. So I have no issues with that whatsoever. We've got B for changing your fire rate. So you can change it from single to auto. We're going to go ahead and set these up. Now, as you guys can see, we've got three and four. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and put this on T. Now, what that will do is allow me to select the grenade that is equipped in this slot right here. If I have a frag grenade in here, I'll press T and that'll equip it for me. And we're going to go on ahead and put five and six in here. And basically that'll just toggle through the rest of the grenades you have in your inventory. Now for me, that, that's personally all I really needed to do. R for reload, that is perfectly fine. C is for crouching. Now I, I know some people were looking to use control for crouch. Now control, basically what that does is basically unlocks your mouse from the game. But we're going to go on ahead and try it here at the very least. We're going to see if we can get this on control. Now make sure whenever you guys do your key bindings, you'll have to reset the application afterwards to make sure they're working. And finally, all I really want to do is for the emotes button, it's on F4 right now. We're going to go ahead and put that on Z. 
Z hasn't been used. Now just a little tip in this game, if you press crouch it'll crouch you, but if you hold it it'll allow you down basically, so crouch and prone are the same button. And finally guys, go over to the right hand side and check that aiming box and make sure that's on the screen. And basically just give it some kind of a key binding that is not going to get in your way, and something that's going to be easy for you guys to not press by accident. We're going to go on ahead and save it, and we're going to restart the application. And now you guys can see that I can't actually, you know, turn my mouse and, you know, play the game properly. I'm getting shot by a bot. I'm literally getting shot by a bot. We're going to go on ahead and press it, and there you go, that'll put your screen back into normal again. So, yeah, if a lot of you guys have been struggling to get control as Crouch, there you go, I'm pressing control right now. There you go, I'm pressing control. You hold control to prone, and you press control to crouch. Um, so just make sure you guys do reset the app, that's like the key to it. And yeah, that's that's basically all you guys have to do to do your key bindings. So let's go ahead and hop into your FPS options. If you guys want the game to be running smoothly, and on 60 FPS, let's go ahead and do all that stuff. So yeah, basically guys, if you ever lose control of your mouse, you'll have to press whatever this key binding is. Obviously it's set on P for me. Whatever, whatever that is, you guys will have to press it. Alright, so to do this effectively, we're going to go, on, go on ahead and exit the application. Now you'll be sitting here with this game loop app right here. We're going to do some settings in out of the game and in the game. But we're going to close the application first just for the purpose of this video. Now make sure you guys have this updated. Whenever I first installed, I had to actually update this. Go into your settings guys. Go into engine. Now I've got this in smart mode. You guys can feel free to test this, but smart mode seems to be working perfectly fine. And I've got all of these boxes checked. The only one that you might want to uncheck is prioritize dedicated GPU. This is basically if you have like an actual graphics card. If you've got like Intel built-in graphics or something, uncheck that because that, that's not a dedicated GPU. But if you have like, uh, you know, GTX or whatever, go ahead and check that. Now all of this stuff here basically just allows your PC to use its maximum power to run the game. Anti-aliasing, ultimate. Um, if it's a little bit laggy for you, you might want to put that on close, but I've got a 970, so that, that is perfectly fine. I've got an i7 7700K, so obviously I can go ahead and put this up to 8. 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9, whatever you guys want. If you do 16 by 9, it'll probably be like a little bit stretched. So go ahead and change your resolution to whatever you want it to be. And then finally, go ahead and put your DPI up to full, just so the game is as smooth as possible. Next up, we're going to go into the game options. Uh, I've put this on 1080p. If you have better than a, a 1060, you can go ahead and put that on 2K. I, I don't have the capabilities to run that, but that is completely up to yourself. Display quality, we've put that up to HD as well. So we're going to go ahead and boot back up the app. Now we're going to go ahead and go into full screen. If you guys don't know how to do this, press F11. It puts you into full screen. Alright, so now that we've fully loaded up the game, it, it's automatically put me into BR mode. We're going to go ahead and go into settings here. Now there's a couple of things that you guys should definitely change. On multiplayer mode and BR mode, I, you should put this on advanced. If you go into simple, you won't be able to ADS. Go into advanced, I, I put it on custom, which will basically um, allow you to manually ADS with every weapon. Just make sure those are all ticked on the left hand side. And obviously do the same thing for BR, make sure that's both on custom and everything is checked on the left hand side. Now if you're playing on mouse and keyboard you don't need aim assist, it will actually mess up your aim. Quick, one, quick run from prone allows you to basically press shift from prone and get up and sprint basically. Fixed R rate button, leave that alone. Do not touch this setting whatsoever, I've, I've messed with it and, and it's not good. Fast throw grenade, that's up to yourself. Basically in our case, what I've set that up as is T. So if I press T, it'll basically automatically throw the grenade for me, so I'll hold T. To cook the grenade and throw it and obviously auto sprint fixed joystick you can go ahead and put that on as well if your ADS settings I've got this tap and hold to ADS um, some people like to tap I don't know what hybrid honestly means I would I would either put it on tap and hold or tap to ADS even double tap if you really want I've just left that on just to make sure there's no problems I've got tap crouch to slide and then obviously um, I've just left that alone I don't think there's any issue with the sensitivity there now in here you can change your camera FOV if you guys are getting a little bit of lag, you can put your FOV down a little bit. If you guys have a really good computer, I mean, put it up full, it's completely up to yourself. I'm just going to leave it here on about 60, I don't think there's any issue with the way it is currently. And for reset weapon aim, I've got that set off. Now for the BR mode, there's a couple of settings in here that you might want to change. For me, I've left auto loot on. Auto loot is kind of annoying because it will automatically attach scopes to your weapon. However, at the same time, it's quite frustrating looting on PC. So I would recommend just leaving that on, but it's completely up to yourselves. And yeah, I've got basically everything checked. Once again, you can turn off aim assist because you're on mouse and keyboard. And you can just leave on fixed joystick, doesn't really make a difference. Now for the graphic settings here, we're going to go ahead and put this on maximum. Uh, I've got a 970, like I said, so I have no issues with that. I'm able to run the game at 60 FPS. 
Now, if you guys go out of full screen and go to these three little lines right here, which will come up on the top left hand corner of the application, ragdoll, anti-aliasing, I've got everything up full. If you guys have a decent PC, go on ahead and put everything up full. Now, I've put this on standard. You can put it on dynamic or real. I think standard is probably the best option for me. It just looks best. Realistic is a little bit more dull. So maybe that will give you better performance. I'm really not too sure, to be honest with you. But personally, I like the look of standard the best. Now, in your sensitivity options, the only thing I would recommend is going to fixed speed and then basically just custom, you know, do your own custom settings. Um, it will be different for everybody. Gyroscope, make sure you guys have that turned off because gyroscope, it's basically for helping mobile players aim. It's not really for PC players. And yeah, those are basically the main settings that you guys will need to update. The only last little thing that I would recommend is go to your game loop app, press right click, go to properties, go to compatibility and disable full screen optimizations just to make sure you don't get any lag. And I would actually recommend that you guys do that on all of your PC games because um, that will basically stop choppiness and full screen. But that's it for the video guys. Hopefully that did help you out. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you do, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Drop a like into this video. And yeah, put on your post notifications if you'd like to see more Modern Warfare and Call of Duty mobile content. If you guys have any issues or any questions down below, go on ahead and drop your comments down below. Once again, if you guys would like to install Game Loop, which once again is an application that allows PC versus PC on an emulator for Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, which is designed by Tencent. If you guys want to know how to install this, go on ahead and check out my last video, which will be linked at the end of this one. And yeah, guys, like I said, you know, drop your comments down below. If you have any questions, I will do my best to help you. Some frequently asked questions that I've gotten are people not able to play the game. If you guys can't find it in your app store, type in visceral multiplayer if you're struggling to find it in the app store. Like I said, as for the bots, um, the, the more you level up in ranked play in multiplayer, the less bots you'll find. For Battle Royale, we've only seemed to got bots at the moment, which really sucks. I'm hoping that at some point we'll be able to play real players. But if you guys would like to join in, we're going to be doing a Battle Royale tournament here over the weekend. Guys, I'm going to be doing a Battle Royale tournament. You can do private matches in BR. We're going to get 100 of you guys from the stream um, into the game and we'll all basically be able to play together. All PC versus PC in the private match. So if you guys would be interested in that, keep an eye out on Saturday for that tournament. And we'll, we'll basically be running Battle Royale all day together. Even if you guys are mobile players, you're free to join in. But just know that you'll be playing against uh, Battle Royale players on PC. So it's completely up to yourself. If you're mobile or PC, you know, we're all going to join in and play together. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been King. Good luck and peace out.